Hello and thanks for tuning in to the National Classes. So in this video is like you know like how, how to derive the kinetic energy but we are using the calculus method in our class today. So please watch the whole video till end to clear your concepts and to learn physics at home. So let's start with our class today. Kinetic energy by calculus method. Okay, so let's start with this. Take M is the mass of the body initially, which is initially at rest. Cal this M is the mass of the body. Now this body is in initially at rest. So that U is equals zero. Okay, now F is the force applied on the body. Now if you take F as the force applied on the body, F equals force applied on the body force applied on the body f is the force applied on the body now for this now you take ds now this is the small displacement produced in the body in the direction of force applied this is what small displacement small displacement produced in the direction of force. Now this is what, ds is what, the small displacement produced in the direction of force. Now see, the small work done by the force dw is calculated like dw, this is f dot ds that's the dot product f dot ds now see they are <coughs> in the same direction so what is the angle between them is zero so this will be f ds cos zero so dw equals f ds now if a is the acceleration produced by the force now you take a is the acceleration produced by the force. Now force by the, uh, by the Newton's second law. Force is M A. Okay. Now we know that what is A? A is dV by dt. So this can be written like M into dV by dt that is the value of a a is what dv by dt the rate of change of velocity with respect to time from this equation dw is f dot ds substituting the value of f which is m into dv by dt m into dv by dt into ds now see, we can also rearrange it. So this can be written like, this can be written like M into ds by dt into dv, which is actually the same thing, ds by dt. The rearranging, we have, I have written ds at this position. Now what is ds by dt is v. So this will be M v into dv which is dw mv into dv which is dw now the total work done by the force in increasing the velocity of the body from 0 to v is so so dw is equals integrating it from 0 to v m v dv as we have calculated now see m is constant we can take m out so this is actually integration of 0 to v v dv so v dv will be v square by 2 so this is m this is this will be v square by 2 0 to v which is equals sorry integration this will be w i'm sorry for this this will be w integrating it so this w will be this is actually 0, so this will be v square by 2 only, which is half m 
v square. W is half mv square, which is actually the kinetic energy of the body. So the kinetic energy of the body is equals W equals half mv square. Thus the kinetic energy of the body is half the product of mass of the body and square of the velocity of the body.